You know, there was a whole novel about exactly this premise. It was called The Andromeda Strain. I've never seen the novel, but I've watched the movie. It's a great movie. Uh, the novel's by Michael Crichton, so I'm sure it's got to be a pretty good movie, or a pretty good book. But yeah, alien organisms could hitch a ride on our spacecraft and contaminate Earth. Let's uh, scroll down. The growing demand for space exploration is increasing the chances of alien organisms invading Earth and of Earth-based organisms invading other planets. I don't see the problem with that. Like, we should just go to other planets. Like, what? why are we worried about that one? I know why they're worried about that one. They don't want, like, a bacteria or a lichen or something on an Earth spacecraft to go and, like, contaminate life measurements on Mars or whatever. Uh, can we not be playing this video here? Like, is there some way to stop this? Yeah, thank you. We'll just leave that, like, terrifying face there. But ultimately, like, we're going to be doing stuff on those planets, whether it's, like, just remote scientific exploration or some kind of mining for a unique material. We don't, we don't know yet. And it's probably inevitable that one day something will get loose on Mars, potentially Venus, and contaminate the planet with Earth-based life. Like, that's going to happen. I understand why they want to, like, work hard to prevent it, but it's kind of an inevitability. One day it will happen. The reverse, you know, some people would say has already happened. There's the theory of panspermia that says Earth-based life originated from, you know, other planets. There were those uh, Mars rocks about, uh, what was that? Was that 25 years ago, 20 years ago? I feel like that was late 90s. That uh, they were like, oh, that looks like traces of bacterial action or whatever in those rocks. And I think they ended up saying that, oh no, it's like water or something, but... You know, material from other planets does arrive here on Earth. Earth material goes to other planets. There's a lot of little rocks floating around in space. There's a lot of this material already out there. Uh, but yeah, we definitely should be concerned about other things contaminating the Earth biosphere. Because we've only got one of those right now. We've only got one Earth. And we all happen to live here. So there's the potential that something that uh, thrives under like Martian conditions could ride, like, in a sample container back here, get loose, and then, like, colonize uh, Antarctica or the Arctic ice or something. Like, that's possible. Probably unlikely, which I think they call out in this article, but it's definitely possible. I Just food for thought. I find all this space stuff interesting. You know, my uh, training is as an astrophysicist, not an astrobiologist or exobiologist or whatever they call their field. But reading this kind of stuff, I think, is always... Uh, Pretty fun. It's pretty interesting. It's food for thought. And it's good to kind of keep an eye on uh, what's going on in the world, you know? And I just thought I'd share. So check this out. Space.com. You can find the article there. Bye-bye.